This is home. Way 31 Hometown News starts now. We are taking a live look this morning at uh, Highway 53 right there in Madison County. You can see the streets are looking a little shiny there and wet for sure. And Liz has mentioned this morning that the rain is going to be really heavy at times. So hopefully your windshield wipers are working. It is expected to be stormy, stormy for most of the day. We do have team coverage for you this morning. Good morning. I'm Aaron Dacey and I'm Justin McFarland. We've got Carla Field standing by with what's happening on the roads right now in the Huntsville area. But first, let's check in with meteorologist Liz Cosgrove. She is in the Storm Force 31 Weather Center. Good morning. Good morning, and we've been watching this heavy band of rain falling over Franklin County. It's now moved north and east over Colbert County, now sliding into Lawrence County. So we have a storm tracker on this as we are picking up on seven lightning strikes with winds gusting as high as 45 to 50 miles per hour. So around 605, Mount Hope's looking to see this rain moving on through. Hatton 620, Leeton 620 as well, and 639 for Cor Portland. This is our heaviest batch of rain that we're seeing, but zooming on out, we have a few drops of rain falling east of I-65 across Madison and Huntsville, now extending up into Jackson County. A few drops for our friends in Fayetteville for Lincoln County, but once again, the main line here it has been moving over the shoals all the way from Wayne County up into southern Tennessee, across Florence to Scumbia, Muscle Shoals, and all the way down to Phil Campbell and Russellville. But the good news is that behind this system, all we're looking at is plain old rain. So once once we get through this heavy batch of rain that's going to push through to the north and east throughout the next hour or so throughout Lawrence County and we'll start to push into Limestone County. Behind it will just be heavy rain where we have the potential of picking up on flash flood warnings throughout the day today. So gusty winds in excess of 40 to 50 miles per hour, heavy rain and a couple lightning strikes is what we're looking at as we start off our morning. I'll continue to track this for you and let you know when the rain is likely to end for the Tennessee Valley coming up in just a few minutes. Let's send it back over to Aaron and Justin. Thank you, Liz. We are keeping a close eye on the outdoors this morning to help keep you and your family safe. Carla Fields is live right now in Huntsville, down in Five Points especially, with an update on the conditions down there. Carla, earlier this morning you had some debris that fallen in the road. What's it looking like now? Right, that same limb is split up and what I can tell you right now is crews have gone through this morning and that limb that I showed you earlier this morning, I'm actually still holding a couple of pieces of this limb that was scattered across the street. It's now been pushed to the median and what emergency crews are doing uh, this with the city, they are going through to make sure that the roads are safe and there's no debris, which is something else that you should keep in mind this morning when you're out. Uh, if you, before you leave the house, this is what you want to look out for outside of your door, outside of your window, make sure that your vehicle is okay and that no falling limbs have fallen down on top of your tree. And if you live in an area or drive through an area that's heavy populated with trees, this is something that you will definitely want to keep a lookout for this morning. Um, still checking as of right now, the rain is starting to fall down. So that's another factor that you'll need to keep in mind this morning on your commute. Definitely not the morning to drive with just one hand on the steering wheel as any other day. Both hands needed on the steering wheel because the wind is extremely high this morning and it's only getting stronger just within the last few minutes. And I don't know if you can see just how strong it, it's moving behind me just by the wind blowing uh, in the trees, but definitely something you need to keep a lookout on this morning. And as far as reported outages in the area right now, there are no reported outages in our area. But of course, Way 31 will continue to monitor street, uh, all of the uh, everything happening for you this morning. So now let's check in with Joshua Senegal, who's in the traffic center to check in on road conditions across the Tennessee Valley. Joshua, how's it looking? Things are looking good for the most part, Carl. We haven't picked up on too many accidents or, rec or uh, road closures that are going to slow you down. I'm going to take you straight to our live shot at uh, the intersection of Research Park Boulevard and Highway 53. You see traffic picking up a little bit, and as we've been showing you and telling you throughout the morning, the roadways are wet, so that's obviously going to be a concern. We haven't picked up any major reports of debris, so that's a good thing, and drivers can hopefully remain safe throughout the morning. We uh, did just a few moments ago pick up on reports of an accident at Highway 72 and Keel Mountain Road in Gurley, so you're certainly going to want to watch out for that, and we're going to find some more information for you on that and keep you updated as far as how long that could impact, impact your commute, but apart from that, no major accidents or road closures to report this morning. Hopefully that will stay the case throughout the morning and drivers can look forward to have a smooth Wednesday morning commute. Send it back to Aaron and Justin in the studio.